Church for me is very much a, a community, but it's a community with the spiritual at its heart, if you like. So there's a rhythm of prayer, there's something that undergirds the whole feel of the place. Um, and I say the place, but because the place is the focus. And most people talk about the church as a particular building. But of course, in fact, it's the people and what goes on in the building that makes it what it is. The church reflects the love of God to the community around here, and I believe that's the mission of this church, and that's what the church nationally should be doing, building communities and growing discipleship. So my role here as director of music is very much wrapped up with uh, liturgy and music, um, the weekly singing of the liturgy, directing the choir, playing the organ, that sort of thing, running our concert series. Um, and that's one way in which the church can be missional. It's a ministry, it's the ministry of the choir. Um, it's aiding worship, enriching the worship, drawing people in, drawing people closer to God. The church is a place where I come to be with God and with his people. One of my roles here is as a welcomer, so I welcome people from the community into the church for whatever reason they might be coming in and to help them in their search and in their journey if it's possible to do so. I see bell ringing as a very important part of the worship of the church in calling our own congregation to the church, but also announcing to the town that there's a, an active worshiping, worshiping community here in High Wycombe at All Saints. You might consider bells to be a bit irrelevant now and calling people to worship but um, I think that it does remind people that there is a service going on. One of the biggest challenges is perception. The church, like any organisation, is just people and the people of the culture. And the culture is changing. We're in a postmodern period where um, uh, the way that people react and associate together is very different. A lot of social media, of course. Um, the, the biggest challenge is in a busy world um, how the sanctuary can be known, how it can be experienced, and how people can tap in without uh, feeling that they're pressured in any way. I think the church has got to face a very changing world. I think first and foremost the pattern of church going is very different now. I think we can't rely on people being available on a Sunday morning or a Sunday evening. What we're lacking are the teenagers and the, the, the sort of early 20s age group. We constantly have to be moving forward, adapting to the culture and to our society and not to be afraid to change, to take risks. I think we need to get out and meet people where they are far much more in the community, whether that's in the marketplace or in the Eden Centre or schools, wherever it might be. We need to rethink how we do church. Mm -hmm.